Hi guys. So <laughs> I'm laughing at myself right now because honestly, getting this set, the second half of this haul video has been a journey. <laughs> um, I started last night. I tried three times. I gave up because the camera kept shutting down on me. Um, I'd get like halfway through and it would just say, you're done, you can't do any more. And then I tried several times today. So this attempt is actually number eight. And I was not gonna give up on y'all. Just wasn't gonna happen. I was gonna get this video made if it killed me and it almost did. So um, that being said, I'm gonna adjust you just a tiny bit. Um, that being said, now I am going to get this haul video done. Um, <laughs> hopefully, knock on wood, my son got a hold of my phone and he did a lot of cl storage clear clearing and I just had too much stuff on my phone. Uh, the phone is about four years old, I guess. It's a S10, a, a Galaxy S10. So yeah, I think they're at like 22 now. <laughs> So that being said, I now have storage and hopefully I can get through this video. And I'm doing a lot of talking and I sh probably shouldn't be just in case. So if you watched my shopping video, my very first shopping video didn't go very well, but it was the first time. And so, but I got, I got me a couple wall pockets. Y'all know that I collect wall pockets. So I'm very excited about these. This one has a signature on the back, but you can barely, barely see it. And um, a little stain, but I'm not worried about it. It's gonna, that's the wall part. Um, so they, whenever this was made, they did a really good job. They, there's no seams or anything on it. I'm very happy. This is not the kind of wall pocket I like per se. Um, I don't like the manufactured ones. Um, and there's no markings on the back or anything, but that's okay. It's going to go on my wall anyway. Um, I do like the vintage or the handmade pottery ones. Um, so anyway, here we are. I got a couple of wall pockets. I'm very excited about that. These won't be for sale. They're going to go on my wall. And then I got, I'm going to set these down out of the way. And then I got, oh, and I wanted to talk to you about the couple of things that I talked to you about in the first half of this video. And one of them was this Christmas tree, this glass Christmas tree. Uh, it is, I couldn't remember the name of it yesterday. And if you noticed yesterday when I was showing it to you, it didn't have a star on it. So uh, this is an Ole Cassini. And on the bottom it says, uh, it says, I can't read it now because it's darker in here than it was when I first started. Simon Designs. Um, I, when I bought it, it was in a plastic bag, the $2.99 or $3.99 bag. I don't even really remember what was in the bag with it, but I liked the Christmas tree. The, the, the star, of course, because it was in a bag with something else, the star broke off. And it also got chipped. Now I did glue it back together and so, um, but I think, and I think I feel like I did a really good job of gluing it back together. There's a little bit of glue there, but not too bad on this side. You can't see it at all. Um, so they're being sold on eBay for about $30 each. Um, I will list mine at 20 as is, um, and note that, that the star is damaged and that I had to do a repair on it. And then the other thing that I showed you yesterday that I did research on today is this coffee mug. It's just a coffee, a rainbow coffee mug. No, it's not. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was looking up Christine um, Tenenholtz, and it's T-E-N-E-N-H-O-L-T-Z, Tenenholtz. And it's signed. It's 2020. It's only two years old. Not one of her mugs goes for under $145. You want to know why? <laughs> so it, it it's literally a coffee mug. That's all it is. It's just a coffee mug. And it's 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 made by a designer. So that would give it more 
uh, worth than most, you know, manufactured coffee mugs, but what makes it worth more than even most hand-thrown coffee mugs is the fact that her glaze that she puts over it is 22 karat gold. So, and now the, if you look at her website, if you go to her website, Christine, um, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E, um, there are a lot of the coffee mugs have the actual 24 karat gold stripes on them now. But if you look closely, closely in between the colored stripes and on the on the colors itself, you can kind of see a shimmer. Um, that is the 22 karat gold. So when she does her her glaze, I uh, I guess she mixes the gold in with her glazes. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And so, no, I'm not gonna sell this for a hundred. And it doesn't look like it's ever been used. So I'm guessing this was probably a gift for somebody and they honestly didn't know what the worth of this was. And so therefore they just, oh, I'm never gonna use this. I'm gonna donate it. It's just a coffee mug. I, I, I'm imagining all these conversations in this person's head, not knowing what this actually was. And so I will start my bidding on this one at $50 and um, see where it goes. Hopefully, you know, I can get some, get some interest in it because it is a beautiful mug. It is definitely a mug that is worth, I mean, it's weighed in gold. <laughs> um, okay, now these two pieces you saw in my, in my shopping video, I almost dropped that on camera. You guys would have witnessed a, a goblet murder. <laughs> anyway, these are made in France. I did a reverse search. I did the search. I did everything. And I could not find only anything on these other than just one on eBay. Somebody is selling a set of four of these made in France, seafoam green, frosted glass, uh, for $50. And I paid the $5.49 plus the 30% off. So um, uh, I will probably list these at $25. And that way, you know, the other one's $50. I only have two. $25. So there we go. Um, I had to do a lot of cleaning on a lot of my glass because they, uh, everything was just so disgustingly dirty i just even hated picking them up but y'all know that i like my uh my home or my art glass my art blown glass and this one is another tree of life if you can see inside the strands it goes up here and then the strands go and attach inside this is another tree of life 3.99 for this piece and it, it was when before I washed it, you couldn't even see through it. It was so greasy and grimy and dirty. And I have a feeling because a lot of the pieces that I picked up were in the same shape. So I have a feeling that they all came from the same house. And um, this is going to go in my collection. Y'all know I collect this stuff. Um, so this is going to go in my collection. So I won't be listing this one at all. Um, this is my third. Yeah, my third tree of life. Um, I do have a lot of other art art glass but um but this is my third tree of life so i'm really excited about this i like this one i've got to figure out what what to hang them on because they're so big and heavy that i have to find a uh, hangers that are tall enough that i can actually display these on um i picked up another starbucks cup and if you look i've already got several starbucks christmas starbucks listed but I picked this one up, it's 2012. I haven't done the comps on it yet to see how much it's worth, but it looks like it was probably was supposed to have a lid on it. I don't know, but it's it doesn't matter. I mean, Starbucks is Starbucks. It's got the snowman. I paid 99 cents for this, so. And then I got, um, I keep telling you, <laughs> I'm a magnet for Fitz and Floyd, and I don't know why it just happens. But that being said, so I saw this, um, pottery piece in uh, the stoneware on the mug, mug shelf. And it was, you know, you're looking down, there's 
I think two shelves of mugs and you kind of look around in them and I just saw, you know, stoneware. Oh, that looks pretty. Let me pick it up and look at it. Yes. I didn't even know Fitz and Floyd did stoneware, but that being said, $1.99. Then I started looking at it closer, turned it around and look at that. It's got, he's got a face on him and arms. I had no idea stoneware did, I mean, Fitz and Floyd did this. But that's okay. So what I'm going to do is research this before I list it. Um, I am definitely a magnet for Fitz and Floyd. Um, Flinch. I don't know if any of you ever have ever heard of this card game, but this card game is uh, 1913 was when this one was produced. The original copy copyright on it was uh, 1902 by an A.J. Patterson, and then in 1903, uh, Flinch Card Company took it over, and it's all in there. Now, these are the instructions, but they're over 100 years old. The paper is starting to disintegrate, and some of the pieces, it's just, it was literally just one piece of paper that unfolds, and there's sections of it missing, and I don't like to mess with it because it, they, it is so fragile. Now, on the inside of this box, the woman who owned it, which I'm guessing there were flinch parties, um, and she carried this with her to these parties. Um, it's got her name on it, and then it's got 1927, I believe, written on the inside of this box. Um, now, the cards are different than most cards that you, you know, the, the cards that we know now. And in the fact, they look the same on the back, but if you if you look at them, they are, there's no, no suits, um, just numbers. And I, I haven't, I have not done any research on these to find out even how this game is played. But, um, yeah, so this is 1913. So this game is almost 120, uh, yeah, no, 110 years old because almost 2023. So that would make it 110 years old. And it's still... For a cardboard box yeah it's got some wear it looks like she probably taped this end up a little bit um or both ends up it looks like it kind of the ends wore out but it's 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 so exciting i'm like i just think i got this on my overnight in tulsa i happened to walk through this walk by this old pawn shop that literally was all just tools, uh, old, old tools laying around. It wasn't even, it wasn't even knickknacks. It was just tools. And he had this one display case that had like five or six old things in it and some old rings. He did have rings. And I really contemplated the rings because they were only $25 each. And I know that they were worth more than that. Um, but it, I just don't do jewelry. I don't know jewelry enough, well enough to have justified spending the the $25 each on getting several of those rings. Um, now I got this, if you watched my shopping video, I did get this here and there's no markings on it anywhere. Um, it's uh, made to look old. Now that that's fine. I honestly was fooled on on the inside it's leather on the outside velvet on the uh on the inside inside and then it has this le leather encased clock the clock keeps wonderful time it's battery operated i changed the battery on it and you know it's made to look old so we i know that this was for something you know like home goods and stuff like that so um i paid it was 24.99 plus my 30 percent off um, so I'll clean this up. It's got some scuffing on the back. And I'll clean this up. Good, reflex. <laughs> Good reflexes. I will clean this up and I will probably list this for about $35. I do need to make some money on it. I'm hoping that I have some interest in it. Um, and then another mug that I have is for pug people. And this is uh, Mugging Out Fred. Paid a dollar ninety nine for for this one, and it's dragon ass. Now this one is made for offices. I I've looked online and a lot of the other ones actually say A S S on it. So this one it's purposefully meant to be kind, <laughs> and so it can be used in an office and it won't 
offend anybody unless, you know, there's somebody that gets offended very easily. So yeah, um, I think this one's adorable. I'll list this one for $15. Now, if you remember right in my haul video, I mean in my shopping video, I found these, these glasses that we thought were Mexican pottery, I mean Mexican blown glass, um, and I started to put them in my cart, and then I changed my mind because there was too many of them to pay $2.50 each for. So, but these goblets weren't there. I went back to pick up something, to pick up, you know, what I was told I had missed, and I found... Uh, these goblets and I did get them because okay there's only two and even if there had been four I would have picked them up now th what it is it's called um see one of them has a sticker on it still AMICI uh and it's recycled glass it's not Mexican uh blown glass it is recycled glass and beautiful pieces now these are ranging all over the board as far as how much people are asking for these. There's none like this. Um, most of them are all one color. You know, it's all recycled glass. And so they're on the lower end of how much people are charging for them. The ones that have color in them that are actually, you know, they're heavy too, that are actually designer um they're they're ranging for two two of these uh, you know they, they could be anywhere from uh forty dollars you know 39.99 to you know 75 dollars none of them like this there was nothing that looked like this and so i still have to research a little bit more but i will probably start my bid on these at forty dollars and they are gorgeous they are so pretty very solid recycled glass this one still has the sticker on it um and i did clean them up but i now that they're dry i can see i need i, I missed a lot of spots that i need to and i think these all th this also came from the same place uh because all of the stuff was just caked in this grease dust you know um and and it seemed like it was all alike i mean the the thickness of it the type of grease it it just seemed like it was all alike now i did find this uh pyrex sorry my brain just stopped there for a second i found this pyrex cheese cloche um for it was 4.99 and you can see beautiful piece try to get it to where it doesn't have the light reflection on it um it is a beautiful piece and it does say pyrex right there now the only uh gold that was wear worn off was right here and this is where the price tag was but that is not what what wore it off right there because it, it the price tag was yes indeed on top of that it was like almost like they it, they couldn't put it anywhere without gold on it but they had to put it right on there um, so it was, that's the only place that the gold is worn off. And it, I think it was almost like they were trying to hide that. I don't know. But anyway, so this I'll probably list for about $20 and, uh, see where it goes from there. But it's very, very pretty. Now it, it kind of took me back to my childhood because my mother and father had huge parties like once a month, like there'd be anywhere from. 30 to 50 people at these parties in our little itty bitty house. We had a tiny house. And when I was little, it didn't seem so tiny. But then when I went back to visit, I was like, wow, that was a tiny house, like 1300 square foot home um, for our whole family. But back in the 60s and 70s, that wasn't unusual. But they had huge, huge parties. And my mother, every time we had a party, would make a cheese ball. <laughs> She didn't have a cheese cloche. I wish she did, but she was a Tupperware lady. Tupperware lady. And so we had everything Tupperware. Everything Tupperware. Um, I remember her Tupperware parties too. Those were, there was always a lot of alcohol involved. Um, so she made big sales because there was always a lot of alcohol involved. Um, let me see what else. Oh, this beautiful turkey. Um, I, I believe it's a hobbyist piece. It does have a signature on the bottom. It's kind of like a, it's, it's, it's an off, but it's an awesome piece. This thing is heavy, very beautiful. 
On the inside is glazed also, so before they um, glazed the exterior of it, they glazed the interior of it. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful turkey. And you put your floral arrangement here. It's gonna make a beautiful floral arrangement for a Thanksgiving table. So um, this is one of those things that if this one doesn't sell, then I won't be too disappointed to keep it and buy a, buy a centerpiece, a small bouquet of flowers and put in there because I just love this turkey. But I hope it sells because, you know, it's just one more thing in my kids call my hoard <laughs> that um, doesn't need to be. Um, and I'm just now noticing a tiny, tiny, tiny chip right there in the paint, um, the, which can be covered up with a dark brown uh, ink pen or felt pen. Um, so I will probably actually even do that before I take photos of him. Um, and then I got this at Brown Elephant. Now I paid $6.99 for this, but it, um, this decanter and it comes with the three glasses. This is Bohemian, um, cut to clear on the, uh, on these sides. Beautiful little, little glasses. I wish there was four, but unfortunately there's not. There's nothing wrong. The gold is all in impeccable. It's in, you know, nothing's wrong with the gold on it. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, it does need to be cleaned up, but um, yeah, so this is a bohemian piece and I cannot find a match for this particular decanter anywhere. I've done so many Google reverse searches, Google, or, uh, eBay. The, the, I, I do get bohemian um, decanters that keep popping up and I knew it was bohemian because of the cut to clear. Uh, on here, um, but just this particular decanter or the cups just are not coming up, and I just, I don't know why, but that being said, I will probably start my bidding on this one at 35. Um, all right, guys, I do believe, I do believe that I have gotten through this entire video without my camera shutting down. <laughs> and honestly, this is so frustrating because like I said, this is the eighth time I filmed this. And I was like, okay, my daughter and I was like, just give up. And I said, no, my people need to see this. I told them I'd have a part two. Here's my part two. And she just rolled her eyes and walked away. Um, I, I will be listing this in my Christmas. Uh, this is the Mickey Mouse wine stopper. I don't know if I've shown this to you in one of my pre previous videos, but um, I, I think I paid like $2.99 for this. And um, so this will be listed in my Christmas. Now that I finally got my videos done, I can start taking pictures, finished, finished taking pictures of my Christmas. I haven't been listing a lot of my Christmas because I'm having a hard time finding matches on everything. And then I just get like, ugh, right now I, I couldn't focus, just too much going on. Um, so yes, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna start concentrating on getting everything, the rest of my Christmas photos taken. Um, I go to my storage unit and I look around to see if I've missed anything Christmas. And I think I have it all, but if I miss something, I'll list it next year. Anyway, you guys, it's been fun. It's been frustrating. It's been amazing. And I'm so glad I finally was able to get this video done. So basically, you've seen it all and I won't be doing another haul video for a while because I'm going to stop shopping. Um, I do need to get what I've got listed. I need to get it cleared out. Um, I need to get my inventory down before I add more to it. Um, my storage unit is so full that I'm having a hard time finding places for everything because I don't like anything put in boxes or put just thrown in there because then when I sell it, I need to know exactly where it's at so I can go back and go, okay, here it is. I, you know, I can pick it up, throw it in a box, get it packed and ready to go. Um, without having to do the hunt and search. Um, 
So anyway, it's been a great time showing you everything I got. And I really appreciate you guys coming to see me again tonight. I'd like, I'd really love it if you would like and share, subscribe and share and my videos, hit the notification buttons so that every time I upload a video, you guys will get to see it. What I might start doing is start doing my what sold videos. Um, that way I can still keep in touch with you guys. I can show you what sold, how much I sold it for. And, um, we and just go from there don't forget to like share and subscribe make a comment down in the bottom tell me what i can do better tell me how what you would like to see and if there's anything that i have shown you please mention it in the bottom and, and we i'll get in touch with you and we can see what we can do about getting it directly to you thanks again guys thank you for joining me today and i will talk to you soon